So yeah, so Fuka, we're almost maxed. Fuka, we, jeez, almost maxed. Another one, another social links. Morning, yeah. Oh, this dude, this guy is so long-winded. All right. Take your seats, class, and we'll begin. This is math class normally, yes? Miss Miyahara isn't feeling well, so I'll be filling in for her. Since you came here expecting a math lesson, I'll teach you about numerology. Numerology is a type of magic which sees the world through a system of numbers. Essentially, its practitioners convert matter into numbers. Numbers have power, and numerologists take advantage of that. It's said that the first numerologist was Pythagoras. You may know him from the Pythagorean theorem. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Path I can't even pronounce. I can't pronounce words. Pythagorean theorem. He's also famous for practicing magic. He and his pupils researched the what they called Pythagoreanism. They realized that every that everything that exists in this world corresponds to a number. They consider odd numbers masculine and even numbers feminine. They also verified the existence of holy and unholy numbers. The Pythagorean focused on number on the numbers one, two, three, and four because they all added up to ten. Which represents completeness. They considered that these four numbers to be the holy numbers, the most important of all. They're called the tetric, tetric, Others later developed the, the developed on the foundation laid by the. I I I. What's funny is like if somebody says this word to me. I understand how to pronounce it, but when I'm reading it, I can't pronounce it. Okay, more recently, there's been work done on the relationship between numbers and, the, and names. Let's look at it a little closer. I'll show you a method by which you can interpret your own name's meaning. Be sure to include your middle name, too. Now, convert each letter into a number. One for A, two for B, and so on. Add the numbers for each letter in your name. If a letter has two dig has a two digit number like 14 for n, add the two digits together to a single digit. By the end, you should have a number between no 1 and 9. This number represents an individual's overall personality. Based on that that number's properties, you can derive the person's general characteristics. Are you all listening? I hope this talk of numbers hasn't put you to sleep. <laughs> How about a little test to see if you're paying attention? Get it wrong, and numbers will haunt you even in your sweep. Sweep. Who should I pick? All right, zero, I asked thee. What is the collective name for the four holy numbers in numerology? The, the Tetracar, no. The Tet, the Tet, that one. That's correct. The actuary tables predict a happy future for you. A few more words on numerology and names before we discuss. Numerology can also be used to discern your inner self, public persona, your future, and so on. Convert the vowels in your name into numbers and add them up. That reveals your inner self. Then take the consonants and do the same to get the persona you displayed in public. Using the same method with your birth date will calculate your future. Be sure to use Christian era dates in this calculation. It is also possible to access her compatibility with another person using numerology. By adding the digits of your birthday to the others, you can... <sighs> Get a drink. Oh my god. Where's my tea? Where's my tea? My iced tea. <sighs> Alright, who am I hanging with today? Who I said I was hanging with? Yukari! Man, it's been forever. Hey, Zero-Kun. 
Are you walking back by yourself? I'll come with you. Kari wants to go home. Have Raphael. Spend some time. Let's go. Polonia Mall. Hey, what do you want to do now? Karaoke? Mommy, where are you? M Mommy! Hey, what's wrong? Are you lost? Mommy told me to wait here. <laughs> and she gave me money, but... But she's not coming. Child is crying. Hey, don't cry. See, you're okay. I'll stay here with you, all right? Hey, look, we can get help over there. Come on, follow me. The policeman will know what to do. He'll find your mom, so don't worry. Whew, what a relief. relief. I'm glad he was able to contact his parents. What were they thinking leaving that poor kid all alone? It makes me so angry. But I guess my mom's no different. What makes you say that? You really want to know? Kari seems to be watching your reaction. Remember what I told you before about how my mom and I aren't very close? Well, if you ask me what kind of parent she is, I'd say a troubled one. Terrible one. She wasn't always like that, though. After what happened to Dad, she totally changed. She'd had more boyfriends than I can count, and she's even living with one guy. Honestly, I'd rather not know. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Keep this between you and me, Zero Kun, okay? You're the only one I've told. Hikari has opened up to you. The two of you have gotten closer. Voice rings in your head. Lovers. Hikari has reached level 3. Seems like you've become someone Yukari cares about. Relationship has grown more intimate. Sorry, I don't feel like karaoke anymore. Let's go back to the dorm. At least you'll walk with me to the dorm. Everybody else will like run away from me. It's like, come on, people. Really? Sup, Sup Junpei? Uh, do I even want to bother talking to people? Nope. 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 Puka, I'm not going to try with you. And nope. You should eat healthy and get ready for winter. Shadows aren't our only enemies. Don't forget about Strega. You're gonna need to build up your stamina. Mitsu- Whatever. Yo, dog, you wanna go for a walk? Yes, he seems to want to go for a walk. Shinjiro can go with you, let's go! Well, aren't you happy today? Pooch must have been worried because you were sick so long, Zero. I ain't trying to nag, but don't take your health for granted. Those powers of yours are like, a, are, are like our secret weapon. And it ain't no secret that Aki and Kirijo have their hands full with their own problems. I spoke quietly with Shinjiro. It's nice to see that he's concerned. Ah, oh, you're back. You hungry? I'll fix you something when we get back. Ready to go? I love Korma. Uh oh, blowing up my telephone. 
Sorry, Katsuki, got plans. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <coughs> okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. There's no school. You're meeting someone today. It's about time to leave. Ah, Polonium Mall Cafe. The cake here is amazing. For instance, Fuka seems to be enjoying herself. Zero Kun. Fuka seems nervous. You've been awfully friendly with the girls around here lately, haven't you? N no, I. What are you talking about? No, 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 I haven't. <laughs> Sorry. I was actually talking. I was actually talking to this cake. It's called Amante, which means unfaithful. Oh. They say it's so sweet and makes you forget about your true lover. It's a pretty clever name, isn't it? For someone like me who's not very good at communicating, this cake is a nice conversation starter. Okay, today you've come a lot closer to Fuka. So you have something to make Fuka happy. Would you like to give her a gift? Yes, I'm gonna give her the glass vase again. It's different from the other ones, I swear. Um, is this for me? Really? Oh, sorry. I'm just surprised. I've never received something so wonderful before. Thank you very much. I'll cherish it forever. Absolutely loves the pre present. Yes. Your relationship could become stronger soon. It is getting dark. It's time to go back to the door. Hey! Hey! What up, Shinjiro? Alright, are you all... Since... Are you all disappointed that the cultural festival was cancelled? Totally. Interesting. Great number of people have voiced their disappointment regarding the cancellation. However, the decision is final. We will not be having a festival this year. You will have to wait until next year to attend the cultural festival. Aw, oh, so sad. Only three more to go. I can't wait. I should eat healthy. Build up stamina! That time we had some different, like, dialogues. What up? I know how Kenku. I know how Kenku must be feeling. Your environment can be a big effect on you. That's true. What? You know what they say about concerned animals, right? They can be pretty scary. Well, do you think the same thing is true for a shadow? Is its strength amplified? I cannot say for sure, but we should be prepared for that possibility. No matter how strong we are, we should continue training. Three shadows remain. The final battle is not far off. Dude, why can't why can't they just come all at once? Then we could get it over with. Uh, you think you can beat beat them if we fight them all at once? Uh, that would be impossible. <sighs> Talk. Cancun seems so depressed lately. Wonder what's wrong. It's hard to tell. He seems like someone who always tries to figure things out on his own. But I'd be more willing to help them if there was something wrong. I know what, I know how you feel, Yukari. I know how you feel. In the end, you can be supportive of somebody, but in the end, they have to make their own decisions to come to you. You can't force them to come to you. Akihiko can go with you. Let's go.
Huh. Trying to keep up with you is a great way to train. When I was a kid, I found a stray dog. But we couldn't have pets at the orphanage. Ever since Shinji came back, I've been thinking about the past a lot. I spoke with Akihiko for a while. See, I hate, I hate that. It's like it gives you a little peace, but it doesn't go farther. Yo, welcome back. You all done? Well then, let's head back. I hate it when they don't do that. It's like, emphasize a little, please. Go to sleep. Oh boy, what up, Pharos? My weekly reminder is here. Good evening. What up? Yeah, yeah, I know. Big Shadow's coming on the seventh. Er, seven days. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but there's only one more week until the full moon. Thank you. I hope nothing serious happens. But who knows what the future will bring. So be careful. Remember, I'm always watching you. I'm always watching you while you sleep. We'll meet again. Totally not creepy. Alrighty, so today, today, we're gonna be maxing a social link. You overhear a conversation. The latest person to pass out was right around my neighborhood. There have been a few around my neighborhood too. I'm scared. They said on TV it's not, it's not contagious, but I feel like it's a sign of the end of the world. What? Don't say that! Now that's silly. Why would people... Oh, whatever. People are crazy. Ugh! Not this person. What? Was it last time that we covered the way that any number divided is zero by zero is undefined? Did we? When was that? Well, either way, I just told you. So let's go to the next question. The answer will be eight. Oh, don't you think eight is such a darling number? Almost as precious as the curly tail on the nine. And the number two, not many people appreciate it, but two is awesome. Numbers are so adorable. I feel tired, but I will stay awake. Oh, on the other hand, things like the square root sign or the sigma have a more mature feel. But put them together with numbers and you can express anything in the world. Heart, mind, emotion, it all boils down to synapses firing in the brain. Which means they can be expressed by numbers. Isn't it amazing what those cute numbers can do? You stayed up and realize that your math teacher has completely lost her marbles. You're wondering why you haven't transferred school yet. Lunch time! Yep. Final day, Fuka, final day. Um, Zero Kun, I I'd like to know when you'll be free after school. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, sorry to ask you out of the blue. Well, whenever you're free, okay? See you later. Ruka, she is nervous. Just spend time with her. Yep, we are. We are maxing her to the max today. Fuka! What up? Wait! I gotta feed the cat. Shit. <laughs> Hold on, Fuka. I need to feed the cat. Feed the cat. Feed the cat. Feed the cat, cat. I'll feed the cat. Uh, 
Why can't this cat be closer, like right outside of GeckaCon? So I could run outside the door and be like, here, here you go, food. <sighs> Feed the cat. Feed the cat. Look, there's more lost cover in the area. Feed the cat. Feed the cat. Feed the cat, cat, feed the cat. Watch out. Meow. Seems to be very weak. Super cat food. Go. Meow, meow. Isamar, if you come back and feed it, it might get healthier. I'm a sucker. I love cats so much. There was this stray that lived around my home area, and it was adorable. It was, a, it was like probably eight weeks old this kitten and it was a stray around our neighborhood and it would come by our neighborhood and I would always give it um, food every time it passed by so he's adorable I would have adopted if it wasn't for the fact I had basically my maximum of cats very small house and three cats yeah three huge cats Jesus my cat was stretched out on my bed one day, and it was three feet long! Three feet long! It's huge, man! Zero Coon, um, there's something I want to talk to you about. Fuka seems nervous. Did you have a unicorn? Oh, um, then. Would you like to come to my room? Is that okay? So I go to Fuka's room. <laughs> Yes! This happens every time you have a girl socialing. Would you like to come to my room? Dorm Fuka's room. Uh, um, Fuka seems really nervous. Sorry, my room smells like food. I like to eat in here once in a while. I don't know how my room smells because I'm so used to it. D did you know that our sense of smell is connected to our memory and... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm acting weird, aren't I? Are you nervous? I am sorry, but um, this is the first time I ever invited a boy to my room, so Puka is blushing. Um, do you remember how I said that I don't have the strength to believe in the future? Well, being with you has taught me why. It's because I never finish anything I start. People who are not truly happy cannot look forward to the future. And that's how I was. I always used to quit before I finished anything. I never had a future to look forward to. But after I told you how I felt about you, everything seemed to change. I didn't think you would feel the same, but I still felt like I needed to tell you. No, I felt like I wanted to tell you. And I didn't care how things turned out. I think I could change little by little. With you by my side, I don't think I'll be confused anymore. I'll be by your side. I almost forgot. I want to give you something. Um. Here. Since you've already listened to... Since you're always listening to music, I thought you might like these. Receive something from Fuka. Obtain headphones. Sweet. This is from my heart. Remember how I told you that I was pretty good with mechanical devices? Well, I finally gave up on cooking. I want to be true to myself when I'm with you, Zero-kun, so I want you to know everything about me. You replaced your old headphones with the ones Fuka gave you. The sound is amazing! The technology she used must be revolutionary. Sorry, I'm not very feminine, am I? That is not a problem! 
I love the headphones. Really? I'm so happy. When you listen to them, it will be like I'm there with you, no matter how far away we are. It's staring into you. The distance between you two has decreased. Social link! <laughs> it's like you run over to her table and bash your head. Social link! <laughs> oh my god, that'd be awesome. Okay, thou art I, and I am thou. That bond has matured, and her most priestess has set free. Bestow upon thee the ability to create. I don't know. <laughs> That persona. Fuka Yamagishi has reached its max. You mastered it. Fuka Yamagishi. <laughs> Forged a bond that cannot be broken. The priest's social link is at its maximum level. You can now create Skafka, the teacher. Who's a You talked with Fuka for a long time. Oh, sorry. I was having so much fun talking to you. I didn't realize it was so late. Um, will you stay with me? Just a little while longer? <laughs> you spent a long time with <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Always happens. Always happens. Hey. What up, Shinjiro? One more week. Oh, yeah. Uh, disappointed? Yeah, totally. What up? Oh, no, Fuka. What? I'm amazed by our senpai. Even though our battles with shadows are coming to an end, they don't seem to be nervous at all. But then again, they were the first members of C, so they have a lot of experience. I'm trying to talk to Jumbo. Dude, my relationship with Chijori was totally ambushed. Do you want to hear about it? Yeah, tell me. You know how I'm always at the hospital, right? Well, there's this old bag who works at the reception desk there. Dude, she's so annoying. She's always asking me these embarrassing questions. And when she's not doing that, she's telling me I have to leave because it's past visiting hours. She totally ruins all my precious time with Chidori. Man, I wish she would just leave me alone. The operation will be on October 4th. We must be prepared for it. Only three more to go. Can't wait. Our next operation is coming up soon. I get more and more nervous as the days get closer. To the final days. Me? Nervous? Meh. Never. All you can do is fight with all you got. That is true, Shinjiro. That is true! What is up, emo kid? Next operation will be on October 4th. Let's do our best. You wanna go for a walk? Nope. It's just never in the mood. Feed cat! What's interesting is um, October 4th will be on a Sunday. So it would be a good idea to accept the um, Bring Me Strong Medicine request from Elizabeth. Because after after a battle, you're tired. After a boss, a full moon boss battle, you're tired. So that means that you'll be sick, which means you can go to the uh, nurse's room and be like... Yo, give me your medicine. Yeah, October 1st. Uh, feed the cat. Feed the cat. Woo! Alright. Just gotta remember, I gotta go feed the cat tomorrow. Punching bag. Late night, we'll go to sleep. 
late night. Yeah, I think this will only be the week where you don't. Huh. It's like where you don't get phone calls. Because since it falls on a Sunday, you can't hang with people on Sunday because that's the full moon boss. After school. I love it when it goes directly after school. It's like, yeah, social link time. Well, first I gotta go feed cats. Kitty, kitty, cat, cat. Feed the cat. Feed. What are you doing? There's a mahjong club at the gang spot, and one of the guys there is mahjong demon. He said, "Let me test my luck and challenge me to a mahjong duel." Getting pretty close, man. If I got on the peacock, I could have beaten the guy. Whoopsies! Kind of took that tile. Mew. Seems very weak. Super cat food. Hoity toity cat food. The cat is purring loudly. The cat seems to regain all of its energy by eating the cat food. It seems you won't need to come feed it anymore. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! I fed your cat! Feed the cat! Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, heard them. Perpender. Do 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 do. Do mess on my own. I never felt like wickedness would last forever. That's the only line I heard. <laughs> no. Uh, here you go. Soon to complete a request. You were successful in feeding the hungry cat. Thank you very much. I can feel the relief in the depths in the depths of my heart. I hope it prospers forever and ever. Please accept your award. Anything else? Let's see. I don't know. Did it open new doors? Did not. Okay, that's fine. We're getting along with the the request. That's for sure. Sweet. Alrighty. So today, we're actually maxing out another social link. So let's do this, man! I never felt like wickedness would last forever. I have to say, though, I think out of all the songs of Persona, I think the one that plays at Polonia Mall is the one that has... The most misheard lyrics ever. So. Baby, yeah, hangs with you later. Right now, Kazushi! Sup, Zero? You going to practice today? Since you have that guy. Yes. It takes dedication, but no more's no one's more dedicated than me. Let's go. What? Cha! Yeah, new team is giving it its all. It's workout is tough but fun. How's your knee, Cass? Not so good. I can't put too much weight on it. Then you should take a break. Sorry, but can you give Kaz a leg massage? No problem. Hey, let me see your leg. Uh, sorry, you're missing practice because of me. Don't worry about it. Besides, it's for your nephew's sake, right? I'm really sorry. To practice, you decided to go back to the dorm. Gekakan High School in front of the gate. Zero! 
Are you free? I need to talk to you. What about? Well, I don't want anyone to overhear. Kind of sees he's a bit nervous. Let's go somewhere else. You left the school with Kazushi. Iwatoda Ishima Wakatsu Restaurant. Broiled fish. Yum. Ah, where should I begin? It's all a mess in my brain. First, let me give you this. Tame sports tape. My nephew gave it to me. It's a good luck charm. There's so much that I could never use it. Uh, there's so much that I could never use at all. If you get hurt during practice, it should come in handy. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. What about your promise? Probably can't keep that promise. I'll have to explain it to him. He's laughing nervously. It's not like I gave up or, or am being selfish. I don't want the whole team to suffer because of me and my nephew. Even if I managed to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. Before, all I thought about was winning. But when coach was grilling you about my knee, I realized I can't keep thinking only for myself. At the same time, I can't just give up on winning since that's a part of who I am. But for now, I won't worry about winning races and instead focus on winning back my health. I can't keep asking for your help all the time. But I do want to thank you for the help you've given me so far. Seems Kazushi truly appreciates your friendship. Relationship is stronger. And to the max! Dude, I just noticed there's a street full of cars. Like, in the window. Like, see? See? Where the hell is that? Chariot has been set free. Kendo team has reached its max. You have mastered the Kendo team. Chariot Arcana, forged a bond that cannot be broken. Chariot Social Link is at its max. You can now create Thor, the mighty god of thunder, who's a very useful persona, by the way. I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. I wonder which one of us will recover first. After all, he wants to be tough like me. You and Kaz hung out for a while. Dun, 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 another social link down. Hi, how is your Fantabulous. day? Fantabulous. have you been able to figure out why the machine in the command room is malfunctioning? Itsuru Senpai asked me to take a look, but I have no idea what's wrong with it. It seems to break down, break down once a month around. Oh, but don't worry, it doesn't affect our missions or anything. Yeah, break it down. All right, so how many social links do we have left? Max, max. All right, so we got student council, Yukari, uh, art club, Yuko, girl. Well, he, whatever. Baby. And the rest of these got dying young man. Jeez. There's still about, I don't know how many more social links left to go. Alright, I'm gonna assume they say everything. <sighs> Never in the mood for a walk. Alright, I guess go to let's go to the command room. I wish there was a elevator or something where I could go click and then it takes me up to the room. Alrighty, righty, righty. The bank of consoles, there is a new recording. Watch it. Yes. July 15th, 2009. Oh boy. 
Hmm. I wonder if I should have gone for the one-piece suit instead. These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is my first time choosing my own swimsuit. But there wasn't much of a selection with the one-piece ones. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan for one last opinion. Although, I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! The low-frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's show. <laughs> it said online it was very effective for its price, so if it helps even a little before we leave... Now, let's see. How do I turn this on? Oh, oh no! This... Oh! <laughs> Yamagishi, may I bother you for a second? Oh, it's Matsuro Senpai. <laughs> oh, I, I have to answer the door. Yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> coming. Oh, um, did I disturb you? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Not that important. Uh, never mind. Just carry on. Oh! Senpai! Is this what it means to train your abs? Oh, someone help! The recording ends here. <laughs> oh my god. Bank consoles, there's a new recording. Will you watch it? Yes. Okay. August 13th. Jesus. Damn it. I'm still not over that business in Yakushima. Is my way with girls really no better than Junpei's? How could they treat me the same as his lame pickup lines? Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, I can't think of many examples, but I can do that much at least. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. <sighs> when people speak to you, do you try to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake with inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling. <sighs> you gotta admit, they've got a point. Try testing yourself by speaking as if you're asking a female friend or co-worker to your favorite store. The two most important things are to smile and have a good sense of humor. Huh. Uh, hey there! What great timing to see you here! <laughs> good one! I'm going to the beef bowl place. Wanna come with? <laughs> uh, humor. Humor. You know, the beef bowl place. Oh, hey, m maybe we could meet up there. <laughs> what am I, the chairman? That's it, screw this. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god. I love these recordings. Let's see if there's another one. There's a new recording! Let's watch it. Hmm. September 6th. You too can follow along on page 39 of this month's issue. Today we're making spicy pepper pasta. It's a great dish to keep your energy up through the summer heat. The key ingredient is green cayenne pepper. Remember to remove the seeds first. After that, we'll prepare some kelp broth. You'll need a pasta cooker about this size and... Pasta cooker? Do we have one here? Oh, it's still pretty hot. It requires energy to maintain an appropriate external temperature. We have returned. <coughs> We're home, Korachan. Oh, shh. I'd feel awful if we woke up Shinjiro Senpai. <coughs> he says that. Shinjiro-san is not asleep. Senpai's magazine. It's the monthly guide to the family cooking show. Does Shinjiro-senpai enjoy cooking shows? Oh, that's a new issue. I didn't know this month's was out. Oh, um, it's nothing. I've just been interested in cooking lately. Let's go! Damn it, I forgot she understands dog talk. Huh, don't sweat it. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, boy. Next time I'll make you something too, Korachan. The recording ends here. I love Shinjiro. New recording! September 20th. Not that long ago. Why do I have like nothing in my room? Door unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. <gasps> Surface body temperature reads 98.7 degrees. No fever. At this rate, he should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. I mustn't stay too long or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. Hmm. I need only sneak out again before morning. I will keep watch over him for a little longer. <sighs> Good thing I guess is still, well, I guess. So considering that was pretty recent, I don't think there's gonna be a new one. Oh, there's a new one. Oh, wow. What, a, did this happen like yesterday? Twenty well, close enough. Oh boy. Whew. Whoops, I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. 
Well, I'm not at home, so I suppose being a little lax won't hurt. This fashion magazine. I saw Takiba buying one, so I thought I'd pick one up myself, but... This one piece is beloved by all, including friends, boyfriends, and boyfriends' friends. Alluring yet prudish, the ultimate combination. Oof. What are they talking about? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually just wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. Cute clothes, huh? Well, I do kind of want to try this pink one. Hmm. <laughs> not that I'd be able to pull it off. I'm not like Takiba. I should be careful to remember the distinction between clothes I want to wear and clothes I can wear. I knew this was a bad habit. It's a good way to catch a cold. I should get some rest. I have to wake up early again tomorrow. Now which pajamas should I wear tonight? The recording ends here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Mitsuru, Mitsuru, Mitsuru. <laughs> oh wait, no, I want to see, like, I'm pretty sure there's no other recordings. No more recordings, but we'll check. Just in case. Oh, uh, no, no, no. All right. <laughs> So yeah, so basically, if you guys haven't figured out yet, there's a recording for everybody. So, and it's kind of cool, it's like you can go back and like, re-watch recordings that you already like, watched. Stop your friends! It'll be awesome! Yeah!